<laughs> so 15 or 20 second overview of Ramblin. Uh Here we've got our full-blown system being simulated for a sales demo. We've upgraded the navigation to these pop-up style menus so that we're hoping that within two keystrokes we can get anywhere within the program. Um, here, this is our, our main to go to the top level of each of the different components of our software. So this is the startup screen for the shutdown panel. This is the startup screen for the air fuel ratio system. This is our overview for our slipstream system. Something we added in, this is just a secondary communication device we're pulling the data into. Clean screen, sometimes it gets dirty out there in the oil patch and we want to have to wipe it down without touching any of the buttons. So we got a, a picture of a compressor in the background. And finally, our support screen for calling for help. These two lights, they flicker back and forth to indicate the, the health of the microprocessors in the background to say that they're actually still computing uh, their software. The operators, if they want to troubleshoot the unit, they come to the troubleshooting button and they can get to the uh, overview performance screens and see the combustion benefits. So all these are cash registers showing the dollar amounts for combustion fuel cost. This is the, the sales gas, so this is how much we're actually producing out the back end of the compressor. And the runtime of the engine. Here we got the uh, exhaust cylinder temperature, so just taking a look overall. And we have differential temperatures for each of the engine cylinders. If there's a culprit where one of them is not balanced anymore, if we don't have a spark plug actually igniting that engine, it'll show us a cool spot, and one of these graphs will be either high or low. And then trends of those screens, so those cylinders going across. Here they're all the same amount, but we can actually turn off each of the individual pins as they separate to isolate one trace at a time. One of them is a culprit, and we want to zoom in on it. And you can turn on those pins and get it. Here's our data logging, our operator log sheet. So the operators might come up and just write with a pen and paper their important parameters. And this is another device. So this would be the MPI ignition system. Actually, this box here that we're communicating to. Just so much in here. Capacity overview screens. Process overview. Just so much you can actually try to start to get lost. And then all our set point parameters. Isn't there a compressor overview screen where you show like the flow of the valves and compressor overview? Start up. So this is our primary navigation. Secondary is always in the upper right. And so the start up of the valves. Compressor overview. Discharge. Or are you talking uh, more of this main screen here? Yeah, like that, yeah. Uh, like your so slipstream screen, yeah. yeah. So this is an overview of the overall system, this depicting the engine, this the compressor. And then we call these little buttons here Ramite, so they can take us quickly to the control for that valve on the suction valve as well. In the top, this header is constant for all screens in order to show the operation of it. Uh, home brings us back to the home screen. And the back button contains, I'm not sure how many, but whatever positions we were with the screen, you can quickly go back that way. And then the help button will pop up any help messages in order to have some online help for uh, your system. And then you can turn that off as well.
Trying to make it as intuitive as possible for the end user. It seems to work fairly well. People are happy with it. We're definitely happy with the performance. Alarms, but anyway. Alarm locks. I think there's probably about four or five hundred screens in the whole darn thing. Our models charge by the hour. <laughs> yeah, I know. John's a good model. <laughs> and then inside, we have a greenhouse gas data logger, so they wanted to have an independent logger to the overall system uh, for redundancy uh, because calculating greenhouse gas credits, they can actually turn it into dollars and money. So they wanted to have both the RAM view calculating it and the secondary source. So some of these RAM views are actually going out with two screens per panel. They're actually going out to the field to retrofit units in order to install this logger. So it's become uh, another product for us.